I double checked I double checked the spacing for all of these rebars that are coming up from the bottom they're set at four foot uh, on center and that's signified on the foundation plan here if you look here I am on uh, this side where is it I am here I'm on this corner so I'm looking at right here in this corner so from the corner to this first dowel which is this guy it's supposed to be four feet eight inches right um, and each one after that is four feet spaced out each one of these are four feet spaced out so all of these are spaced out four feet I measured it all and I wanted to verify that was spaced out properly because I wanted to verify if these were set up properly. So the layout, I want to make sure that it was set out properly from the foundation, which it is. What that means is, is that this is what's going on. What I did actually here with the tape measure is I measured from the corner of the wall to figure out where all of this starts going in to see if this is all lined up properly. See how that block is dropped? Because this is a walkway. And what I did is I just verified that that this section right here on this patio is pulled back six feet two inches. So what I did is I did it from the from the way the patio stops six feet two inches. That brings me right about here six feet two inches right so if I just shoot the camera up I'm right there where the block is recessed so that is correct that's laid out properly so that tells me that I'm just double checking where the iron is the rebars run so the first rebar on the left side is for the post and then the other two is for if I look up here it's for the other pieces that are going up so there's two two squares right there if you could see it two squares right there and my fingers pointing sorry I only got one hand right there two squares going right there and there's one big square that one big square it says right there it's a six by six post with a triple two by twelve header so what that what that is is those two pieces of, of rebar sticking up Let's see if I could do this again right here that's the six by six post where that's supposed to be where we ran the rebar because thinking about just running the block instead of running a piece of wood just makes the house a lot more tighter and then these two pieces of rebar going up that is the actual two dowels that shoot up to the third floor so that layout looks good that's the right layout this guy here now if we look at the third floor plan here going back to this layout you could see we have let me see if I could do this. I'm sorry guys, I only have one hand here and it's hard to do it. Um, I got two. So I'm at the corner here, I got two. So I got one, two, three squares that are gonna be up on the third floor, okay? So when the third floor wall goes up, I'm gonna have three pieces of front number five rebar shooting up. So there has to be clean outs up there on the bottom and on the top so, so these have to line up now I have to double check this with the, the second floor layout because that's where I'm at right here so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to count to see how many pieces of clean outs I have here on the second floor to correlate what's going on up here on the third floor so I have I have three going on up here plus the two in the corner all right so there's a two in the corner right there and I said I had three so I got one two three all right and actually i have a fourth one here which is right there next to the window you can see it right there next to the window so i got four now i just said that all of these are are, are laid out properly on the foundation that's coming up all right so i got an extra one which is okay so if i look over here i got uh from the window which is this guy i have sorry Sorry for the camera crap. I got uh, one, two, three, four. So I have four cleanouts here. So I got one, two, three, four cleanouts. All right, but upstairs, I'm only reflecting one, two, three. So we know that this one here, this clean out here, 
is number one going upstairs. This guy here, this clean out number here, is supposed to go upstairs, but it's not. So we don't have it, but we have one right there. And then we have another one that's going upstairs. And then this guy is going upstairs. So we got one, two, three, four. We got four pieces of iron shooting upstairs. The plan says all we need is uh, one, two, three. So we got an extra one, which is okay. Now, if you look how these, this is spaced out here, if I can get a closer shot right here, see how they're spaced out really super tight? That's a window right there. And these two squares, that's the spacing. So if I blow, go right here to where the window is, right? I got the two right there at the top. So that spacing's super tight. And then you got a little gap here. And then you got one right there, boom. All right, and then I have another one in the middle here. Uh, and that's because they brought this all the way up because that's tied to the foundation. This one's actually tied. This one's actually going down to the foundation, but they didn't bring it all the way up. They just they just put a little hook there and tied it in. I guess they only need one. Because according to the plan, all you really need is uh, a few of them. Three right here. Let me go back. All you really need is three. So we have. This wall section, we have it all laid out, but I just wanted to double check and make sure that the bottom was laid out and the first floor is laid out, which it is. So just to recap, just so everybody knows, I'm going to shoot another video here. 